Welcome back to 25C. Um, I need some redstone. Huh. So how am I going to do that? Flux. Oh, okay. I can throw it in lava to get flux. Obsidian. Air. Bedrock. Not what I wanted. Oh, really? Oh, it is nighttime. Let's go sleep. I was about to ask, is it nighttime? And it is, so we can. Just to get the rain to stop. Alright, so drop this in there. what it said, right? Throwing in fluid. Okay. There we go. Now we got some flux. So with the flux, we want to make some stuff, right? We want to make a flux core or several. I want to make a flux controller. Which requires flux blocks, which requires more flux cores. out of flux cores again. Alright, so there's a flux controller. We're going to have two networks on here. We can have a generating network, which is going to be red-ish and we're gonna have a distro network which is gonna be green-ish okay we can pick which one we look at alright so in order for this to work we're gonna need Plugs and points.
one plug pulls energy from the network one point puts energy into the network so if I were to say I want to pull energy from here that would be the generating network no disable the limit so energy would come out of here and go into the green network now this is this works cross-dimensionally so let's say I wanted to take this off of here right and put that on it instead and I say right now it's on gen because I don't have a storage this would power from that but what I want to do is I want all of my power to come off I don't want to create power loops, right? So we're going to clean some of this stuff up. So all of this stuff that goes to there, that's fine. But all of this, we're going to want probably somewhere else. So it's just power. Where do I have... So this will continue to get power because it's coming from that thing upstairs. But we can take this away now. Put grass back or a dirt block back down. it'll become grass okay so now let's go let's build some power production I mean some serious power production something we haven't done yet we're gonna want quite a number of these That's pulling power from this network. And these guys are producing. I don't know. I mean, I've got all those guys running, but... They should be producing 480 per tick. Up to 480 per tick. I don't have a lot of power loss here, so... I need one more point. We're going to need more points, but I need one more plug. All right, so there's our point and plug. So what's going to happen is we're going to take out from our storage, which are right now just those three or four blocks of... vibrant capacitors two blocks so our storage is only 50 million so we would take out of this to distro
and power would be pushed to wherever we wanted it to be. Wherever we put points later. What do we have here? Nothing. One of the cool things about these is that I can place that there and as, if this needs power that will provide it. It'll always pump power into that. Alright, so of there and that off of there all right so this we go here I didn't mean to put it there, I meant to just circle it. Okay. So now... bags away. One, two. Four, yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Three, four, five. So if we were to put 
these lined up with these over the top of them and these providing cobble I don't know how many per but let's do that let's do that that makes those and then we pull from these right make that always active that means that this will push into our will push into these these will make power boom that's exactly what we want and then we can do the limit here is what 2480 so we want energy and I'm pretty sure we have the capability of making better energy, right? Better energy conduits. Stellar energy conduit is two million. That requires infinite reagent and stellar alloy. Melodic alloy is what? What is it though? What is what is melodic alloy? How do I make it? End steel with popped chorus fruit. That gives me 327. Pink slime gives us 81920. Crystalline gives us 4960. So we have some that are better than the 220. Let's let's work some melodics. Cuz those are cool. So this would be power production here. Not upstairs. Here, we would run power production here. get rid of that I'm gonna need a lava ender tank So, two of these, two of these, I need orange dye.
like, why is that ender tank not working? Because it's not ender, it's pressurized. Speaking of which, uh... Okay. Now we don't have any that aren't that. Pick up these three. Let's set these aside for right this second. Right, and grab some of these. Put these where they go. Helps if I'm putting the right stuff in the right place. There we go. Pick this up. Set this down. Grab our orange dye. And say lava. Pick one of them up. Put this one to there and one to there. Good. Okay, that can go back up here. This can come back down here. So can that. That can go up there. That can go up there for now. This can go up here. Alright, we're going to want this to be orange extract always active. And this to be orange insert. And this to be always active orange. And this to be insert on orange. Okay, so now we want all of our excess to go there. So that right there, that is enough to run these four. Is it enough to run four on the other side? We don't know. But I want to put this on top of here. 
and say Okay, so now we've got it running here as well. So this will be filling this back up. It's pretty close. So that works. So now let's work more. Uh, I've got another one here. I've got these two here. I'm going to need cyanite. So there's four more of those. I want porcelain clay, which we have a bunch here. Four of these. While these guys are firing, good, I need we're going to want more vibrant capacitors. We got the cyanite blocks. We're going to want more of these. Right now, everything is being powered by a specter coil, but that will change. Alright, so we've gotten back up to the max amount of go here. One, two, three, four. And then these will go here. Alright, that's going to do it for 25C. We'll be right back.